Welcome back to Online TV Expert Tips. Today we will talk about one of my favorite topics, audio and music. Did you know that beyond video, Online TV players can also play back a separate and independent audio track? Well, we call it Audio Loop. Currently, the Audio Loop is supported by Online TV players version 10 on Android, Windows, and Linux. But keep your eyes open as more platforms will soon be added. The audio loop can be used in many different ways. It works great for adding background music for your visual content, or it can be used by itself to create a full indoor radio station. It works for expanding the in-store customer experience or making on-the-spot announcements, like our store is closing in 15 minutes, or to call everyone's attention for today's specials. The audio loop is played in the background and is independent from the main loop. With this, a song will never be interrupted, even if another item is starting or finishing in the main loop. Now let's get started playing with the audio by uploading a bunch of MP3 files to our account. Once files are within the Onsign TV folder structure, use the new button to create an audio playlist. Just like the regular playlists, audio playlists are equally versatile. The main and obvious difference is that audio playlists can, of course, only hold audio items, such as MP3 files, audio apps, more on that later, and other audio playlists, as it's possible to nest an existing playlist within another playlist. Audio playlist items can be configured in a number of ways, so it's possible to pause and resume the playback of a specific media, set a date range for when the item will be played, and only have the item played when a specific tag is set on the player. Of course, you can also use all sorts of playback rules supported by the Onsign TV platform. In addition, it's also possible to set a custom volume for each media. There are actually three main volume settings. The volume, this is the volume used to play back this item. Volume others, also known as audio ducking. This will change the volume of all other media played in the background while this item is played. And transition, set this to crossfade if you would like a nice transition in between the audio items. To give you a more practical example, this would be a cool setting for an in-store radio. Here we're creating an audio playlist that contains two other playlists. Firstly, an audio playlist with songs configured to play three items per loop, and the second audio playlist with ads configured to play two items per loop. Once the audio playlist is finished, of course, you can publish it either to a player or player group. Any audio element published is automatically placed in the audio loop, so you do not have to worry about this. Audio loop items can be found within the content in player menu, where you can sort items or edit playback restrictions in the same way you can do for items in the main loop. Finally, let's talk about audio apps. Audio apps can be configured in the exact same way as regular Onsign TV apps. So audio apps are an audio asset. So like any other Onsign TV audio asset, it can be added into a campaign audio track, published into the audio loop, or added into an audio playlist. To give you an example, let's play with the audio announcement app. This is a super handy text-to-speech app where you can type in any text you want, and it is then spoken in pretty much any common language as an audio announcement on the player. Simply fill out these fields here, enter the text you want spoken here, for example, a special announcement, and specify the language and voice you want to hear it in. By the way, you can choose from over 100 voices in over 30 languages. Dear shoppers, the store will be closing in 30 minutes. Once everything is set up, save the app and publish it to the player, either as a regular audio or have it ready to trigger on demand when needed. Two other audio apps to check are the streaming audio link, and soon we will add a VLC audio player app. A super cool way to use the audio announcement app is to use it for on-demand audio announcements. Actually, you can have any audio element published as an on-demand content. Published on-demand content is always available within the content in player or player group menu. This works exactly the same way as the previous on-demand content, where you can press the play button to get the item immediately played by the player. If the published on-demand audio content is not wrapped within an audio playlist, then you get this little gear icon to configure the playback volume for this item. We hope you enjoy the audio loop feature. That's it for this expert tip. I'll see you in the next one.